looking good, buddy. I always love seeing you. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Uh, Thank you for having me. It's uh, good to be back. I've known you for a long time now, and uh, this is, makes me feel so happy to say congratulations. You're a new dad. You're a dad. Uh, yeah, it's pretty... Uh, Papa! Pretty wild. Um, you know, our little girl's home, and she's, she's doing amazing. It's just... What a gift a baby it, is. It it's really just, is, right? Is yeah. everyone giving you advice and giving you books? Yeah, it turns and... out everybody I know is a, a newborn care specialist. <laughs> yeah, uh, everyone's doctor, an, expert, yeah. an expert, yeah. All these PhDs I didn't know they had. Yeah, so. no. How are, um, the, how, are the, how are the bros, his uncles? Uh, amazing. You know, they've got kids of their own, the two older ones. Uh, Franklin Jonas, the youngest of the, of the three, who's now out of, or, of four of us, uh, he's 21 now. I don't know if you can believe that. No. First time you met him, he was probably like four. Yeah. Um, but he, yeah, he's the favorite uncle uh, by far of all the uncles. He's, cause they... Well, he's the closest in age to the kids. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess technically, yeah, you're right, yeah. yeah. And how did you, uh, did you celebrate uh, Mother's Day with Priyanka? Priyanka? We did. It was her first one. So uh, did a little thing at the house, uh, got her a, a citrus tree that I'm going to plant this week. Wow. Uh, YouTube how to plant a tree. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what, any significance in that? Uh, just, you know, new life, new things growing, and, and the beauty of, you know, citrus trees. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, well, I want to talk to you about your uh, Vegas residency, because yeah. it's coming up soon. Can't wait. I mean, that's going to be... Uh, can you imagine? Uh, that's exciting. That's like kind of a yeah. musician dream come true, it's right? It's a dream come true. I can't wait to go to Vegas and actually leave with money in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Giving them my uh, money. Yeah. Do you, have any, um, uh, do you have any crazy Vegas stories? Yeah, I've got a few. Yeah, uh, and made, that you can see on some, TV. some really uh, great choices there and some really, really not so smart choices. <laughs> um, but no, there was one uh, Halloween in particular. I've actually been in Vegas twice in Halloween just by happenstance. But the one, I was, I was there with some friends who, who are very close friends of mine, both guys that were at my wedding and, you know, uh, guys that, that I did a Broadway show with here in New York and they're, they're older than me by 15, 16 years. And so you would think at that point a bunch of grown men who were given glow sticks at the Diplo show would know that the glow sticks then had a battery pack on the bottom that's very dangerous to hit each other with. Um, but we, we were a little intoxicated at that point. So we forgot about that. And uh, I just sort of whacked my buddy in the head. And he was like, he calls me Jerry, which is my middle name. He goes, Jerry, you son of a bitch. And he just starts gushing blood. But it worked out because it was Halloween and everyone just thought it was a costume. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's not... That didn't work. It, no. Yeah. Did and you... the best part of the story is he didn't sue me. <laughs> yeah. so. He's your best friend. Yeah, what a good guy. Did he have to get stitches? He hasn't sued me yet, I should say. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's still time. Um, yeah. No, he, he uh, sort of waited to get stitches till the following morning. And it was, <laughs> it was very clear he needed them. But, um, you know, we were all having fun. Yeah, of course. Yeah, you get hit in the head with a glow uh, stick. What are you going to do? Yeah. Uh, I, I know... Uh, I, I want to talk to you about this, because... Oh, yeah. yeah Love I was it. talking to your brothers about this. The, By the way, your bits with Joe were hilarious. Dude, he's... Come on. He's a, he's a was, natural. He's a natural. Yeah, he, he's a funny guy. You, yeah, he's he is. a funny right. guy. We are slightly competitive, especially when it comes to you and... And you know the bits that we get to do. So I'm hoping that the auto tune thing we did today just kind of gets yeah. like two or three more views than. Yes, of course. Yeah, everyone like it on uh, yeah on YouTube. Yeah, send it around. We want it to go viral. I want to. Oh, I, I should yeah. sanitize my hands. Yeah, just I got sanitizer yeah. for you. you. There you go. Yeah, I want to talk about talk to me about this popcorn. You're yeah. in the food business right yeah. now. Yeah. So you know, in addition to being a new father, I am also uh, a popcorn guy now. Yes. Um, but no, but it's this the, is the natural transition from Disney star uh, <laughs> music star to to popcorn guy. Yeah. Um, but basically, uh, our good friend Greg, who played bass in the Jonas Brothers backup band for many years from the very uh, beginning, uh, and is now a part of our management team and also one of my best friends. Yep. His dad would make this popcorn at all the shows in the East Coast, and we just fell in love with it. And I just said over time, like, can I please make this a thing? And he finally agreed a couple years ago. And so during the pandemic, we just had fun designing it and making it. We just launched it uh, in Walmart a couple months ago, and it's been crazy. <laughs> it's delicious. It's but, delicious, and right? And this is Rob. This is... That's the guy. That is Rob, if you can see him on the yeah, back there. That's Rob. That's Greg's dad, Rob. That's Rob. So from so... His, his kitchen in New Jersey to, uh, you know, the shelves of Walmart, and now... This show. Yeah, now it's on the Tonight Show. There you go, Rouse Popcorn. Yeah. I love it. It's, it's not, so good. It's not too sweet. It's not too salty. Correct. It's like, almost like a, there's something else in there. Is it garlic? No. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah, there's all the ingredients in the back. There's carrots. Oh. Carrots, the magic ingredient. Carrots? Yeah, I know there's things because I'm a popcorn guy now. 
We sell popcorn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I saw one video you did where you threw the popcorn in there and your brother you want to try? caught it in his mouth. Yeah. I could try it. I mean, I'm not very good at it, but you can, you can try to catch the popcorn. Here we go. Ready? Yep. That was awesome. We don't mess around, buddy. Wow. We don't play around on this show. Come on. That was incredible. Uh, that I, was. I'm like genuinely impressed. Yeah, by that, that was fantastic. We, we make a good team. Uh, I want to talk about dancing with myself. This is a yes. new show on NBC. We're psyched yeah. here at the network, obviously. I know you had Shakira here. That's right, That's Shakira. Shakira. Yeah, she can dance. Look at that. She, she can dance. Would you say that you're a, a pretty good dancer? No. No. Really? Uh, no. So I think the the biggest misconception about the Jonas Brothers, if I had to name one. Yeah. Be that people think, because we're a pop group of, of guys, kind of boy band category, that we dance, but we, we don't. Especially Kevin, he can't dance for <laughs> um, <laughs> no, uh, But Well, I guess you're always I, playing the guitar. Yeah, playing the guitar, but I did some theater and stuff, so I, I do have some experience. So the thing I was drawn to about this show, uh, which I think is the, the brilliant thing about the idea that Shakira had, uh, was that it's not about being the best dancer. It's about having the most fun, uh, it's about you know, get out there and expressing yourself. And so many people were in their homes for two and a half years making videos for TikTok or Reels, whatever, who were on our stage, who, you know, have tons of different jobs and walks of life and age groups, just up there having fun and, and dancing, which is yeah. what it should be. So it feels more like a wedding dance party or just a, a great dance party than a serious dance competition. Yeah. Because God knows I should not be the one to judge that. But what do you do if, what do you, do if you go to a wedding or a party or something and they go and the song comes on? Um, you know, as you know, you know my wife Priyanka, and, and she's Indian, and so we we dance to a lot of Bollywood music. Yeah, I find that it's the easiest to dance to because I can just do this move all the time, <laughs> no matter where I am, sitting, standing, and yeah. it works. And I look like I know what I'm doing. Yeah, and you just yeah. do that. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. That's, that's nice. That's your. It's a comfort zone, and you can keep the drink in your hand too while you do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly very, very important right there. Um, I want to show everyone a clip of your new show. Here's Nick Jonas in Dancing With Myself. Take a look at this. Dennis, I love watching you dance. I actually started to kind of do your signature move there. What do you call that one? The Dennis. The Dennis, okay, well, that's easy to remember. Where are you from? Uh, born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, but now I live in Jersey. Currently raising a family in Jersey. What part of Jersey? I'm from Jersey. Hey, hey, hey guy, yeah. hey. Well, I, get, I get off Route 18, so I think Route 9 and Route 18. Beautiful, I used to get off Route 18, too. This is a beautiful hey. thing. Hey, hey. Yo. Hey guy, listen, you're fantastic. I, I think it'd be fun to have a Jersey guy here. Yeah. Nick Jonas, everybody. Dancing with myself from his May 31st at 10 p.m. on NBC. Hey, hey.